Okay. Welcome out, everybody. Tonight we are talking about oregano essential oil. Oregano. Yeah. Or they say in Australia, oregano. 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 <laughs> Very spicy oil. I want everybody to put a drop on their tongue right now. No. Okay, here's Jade Baldwin. No, thank you, Ben. Um, ben tells people all the time to um, gargle oregano. Um, he tells our kids to do that, and they good. they say no. I like the burning sensation. He's <laughs> all, it'll put hair on your chest. You need hair. <laughs> they said, our kids don't want <laughs> hair on their chest. So crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I. Don't think we can convince our girls to um, do oregano. <laughs> I think someone's in here. <laughs> Where's the little person in here? <laughs> I'll take care of it. Just sneaking out. Anyway, does anyone have any stories about oregano that you want to share? and experiences with oregano that you want to share. <laughs> That's all right. Um, so when we first started doTERRA, um, I introduced um, the oils to a lot of friends at church and uh, a lot of um, Ben's friends were my friends. And so he went to, um, Stanford University one time with a friend and he was on the plane was it he was saying something smells like pizza and uh, the guy he kind of giggles and he's like oh that, that that's probably me and he's all I'm using this oregano you know oregano oil um, for my warts <laughs> and so anyways Ben's like he came home and is like, did you talk to this one family about oregano? Because that guy is using it. And I said, yeah, the whole family's using it. <laughs> so it was funny. But um, yeah. So it makes you smell like pizza. Mm -hmm. So you smell like pizza. <laughs> That's happened a couple of times when people are using something like that. Mm -hmm. Some sort of spice and it smells like food. <laughs> yes, it's a very spicy oil. And I find it so funny because I have these Mediterranean um, Middle Eastern friends and they love, love, love um, oregano. It's like one of the oils that they use, the spices that they use in their cooking all the time. And, um, you know, when they were introduced to oregano, it was amazing. So one lady, she used it in her the cleaners. She has a bucket of warm water and she said, I just dumped that oregano in there and I just cleaned my whole house. And she said from the you know first floor to the second floor and I'm all, oh, you know, and she's all, and my hands burned and it was great because when I woke <laughs> up in the morning, it was still warm. And then she says, and all of this, the skin problems I had was gone. And I thought, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways it's just interesting how people use oregano <laughs> well we're going to tell you how to use it and you can decide what is good for you do we already ask everybody what what sort of uses they have for oregano mm -hmm. uh. yep so if you come up with ideas or you remember some stories you can go ahead and share that okay so for the body, um, oregano is great for cleaning. Okay, it's very powerful. It's a, you know, even if you put a drop of oregano in a petri dish, and it's near and around, you know, uh, they had an experiment where they had um, like MRSA near and around MRSA, not even on that same petri dish. It, it killed it all. It was amazing. So a very powerful cleaning agent, purifying agent. So you can put oregano in your cleaning water or in a spray bottle and you can clean with that. Um, sometimes I shake it up and um, I put the on guard um, cleaning concentrate in a glass water bottle and then I put a couple of drops of different oils and you can put a drop or two of oregano in there too. Okay, because it's a powerful 
against environmental threats. It would be a very good one to diffuse. Mm -hmm. That's that, right. That gets you to the next point. Um, yeah. To diffuse in the air to help clean that. Yeah. Yep. So if somebody is not doing great, um, really unwell, it's great to just put that in the diffuse. <coughs> okay. So that is for cleaning. Anybody have any experiences with oregano and cleaning? Oh, okie dokie. We'll move on to the next immunity. So when you think of oregano, think of immunity. It's one of the most powerful oils that you can use for your immunity. Um, it helps uh, when, you, when you just take it internally, you can rub it on the bottom of your feet too. Okay, so like Ben, he likes to nip the. Um, yeah, the um, they, the used, they used to have a recipe called the flu balm. Mm -hmm. Now you can get the On Guard Plus, which yeah. now has oregano in it. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, it's like when you feel like you're getting sick. You can take Actually, that I don't know oregano's in there, honey. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll check on Yeah, it. <laughs> oregano's in the GX Assist, but I think the flu balm is the On Guard, the Melissa, and Black Pepper. Yeah. So you take this flu balm. Um, Put a couple of drops of oregano in it, mm -hmm. and um, that mm -hmm. really helps the nip it in the bud and, and mm -hmm. keeps you from um, you know catching whatever it is that's going around. So yeah, <laughs> that's a good flu balm for uh -huh. you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so here's a good recipe. This is the recipe I got years ago, and I added abavite to it. If you are going to do this blend topically or in the diffuser. Um, add abibite. It makes it more powerful. Um, if you're going to take it internally, um, just take out the abibite. Okay, so it's five drops of on guard, uh, four drops of oregano, four drops, uh, three drops of frankincense, two of melaleuca, and one of abibite. Yep, so Benjamin was right. The On Guard Plus does have oregano in it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it when I heard it when they came out with that. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So that, that, that's for added um, immunity. Yeah, excellent. That's so good. Yep. Okay. So, being so I remember they, they, one of the things that they talked about when they came out with the On Guard Plus uh, pills yes. was that everybody was making these flu bombs and there yes. were all these recipes. Yes. And so uh, oregano is not one of the ingredients in the On Guard, but it yes. is uh, um, one of the ingredients in the On Guard Plus pills. So that's, that's your pre-made flu bomb. <laughs> yes. Basically, you're taking it down when when you need when you feel like you're coming down with something and you need to boost your immunity. Mm -hmm. They're not saying that this cure, cures a flu or, or you know protects you against it, but it boosts your immunity, so you'll be yes. a lot stronger mm -hmm. to resist those sorts of things. Awesome. So black pepper. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Um, now I learned something. So black pepper, oregano, and Melissa are the extra ingredients um, to the on guard. Okay, in that flu, oh, flu on God plus, excuse me. <laughs> All right. So for adults, you know, if you want to make a roller bottle with this and just roll it on the, your feet every day just to help with immunity, you can actually uh, multiply it by four or so in a 10 mil roller bottle and fill up the rest with fractionated coconut oil. Uh, for kids, you can double that, this. And for infants, you can just use it as the... It says there, uh, five, four, three, two, and one. And um, fill it up with uh, fractionated coconut oil. Just rub it on your, your kids' feet, okay? Now, a lot of people like using oregano or any other spice oil. You know, if you want to put it in you and get on topically, the feet is really good. Because I haven't heard anybody say, oh, it's really spicy on my feet, you know? <laughs> they just don't have that mm -hmm. sensation. The, the no. cool thing is about the feet is a really thick, soul yeah and um a really quick yes. entry into your so the feet is like specially designed for essential oils <laughs> you didn't know that but it's yeah. true when you yeah. bought your feet first time there was a seal on it says specially designed for essential oil application yes <laughs> it's one of the one of the <laughs> features of your feet no pun intended <laughs> it's a feature <laughs> Yeah, well, most of the time it's a good place to put socks on because I did have last week, um, I think my friend uh, in Arizona, Debbie, she said that one of the kids in her daycare 
had oils on his feet and then his brother was playing with his feet and then he had oils in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, and it can make it slippery. So don't put your oils on your feet and go walking through the house. Mm -hmm. And you can actually taste it. You can actually taste the oils after a while if, if you put it on your feet. So mm. it's interesting. Welcome. Yes. Okay, so digestion is the next thing. Okay, we have the uh, oregano in our GX Assist blend. It's great for the digestive tract, the GI tract. Um, but you know, taking it alone uh, is still really good. My sister, after she did her cleanse, she just wanted to maintain a clean gut and so she did one drop of oregano in a veggie cap every day after that for the first year. So she continued to cleanse her body, but not so you know, harshly with um, the GS assist. So it's very effective. It's a very spicy one to take internally. Yes. So you want to use your capsules. Yes, use a capsule. Make sure it doesn't go on the outside of your capsule. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind the burn, but I know there's some sensitive ladies listening to this. <laughs> my get all burned okay. up. So Dr. Hill, who wanted to play a trick on, um, I think it was Corey Lindley, and he Corey had um, some or something on his lips and Dr. Hill taught him to use oregano. <laughs> it was really bad. <laughs> so yeah, Dr. Hill's funny. But um, he said if you want like nice um, puffy lips, you can rub the <laughs> oregano on there. So you don't need to, you know, go do surgery or um, plastic surgery. <laughs> yeah, it was it's crazy. Um, anyways, it's a powerful, powerful antioxidant. Okay, so you, you can actually use it on your uh, feet or just it internally. That helps your body. Um, okay, breathing assistance. So we don't um, think of oregano necessarily as um, something for our, our airways, but it's fantastic for it actually. Um, so like I said, you want to put it on the bottom of your feet and then put socks on. Okay, and do that daily and you see that it helps um, you know the or um, diffuse it uh -huh. it's a good one to diffuse it smells like food I don't know if you go into someone's house where it smells like food it just make it feels warm and cozy <laughs> so there's some there are some blends um, you know that use like kitchen herb you know, mm. spices mm. to Purify the air and improve the mood. Mm -hmm. So if you're serving spaghetti or lasagna or something like that, you can diffuse it. Everybody will think you're such a fantastic cook. Oh, we'll get to that soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just go back to the breathing. Um, you know, sinus concerns is related to your gut. Um, so you can see that oregano, when it starts, it helps you cleanse your gut. Um, that your sinus concerns go away. So it's really good for the lungs too. Okay, for breathing, for um, upper respiratory. So it's amazing. Um, you know, these oils are so intelligent. We're just learning more and more about it all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and the oregano's, remember oregano's uh, one of the top 10 essential oils in doTERRA. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Family physician kits and the yeah. um, you know, home essentials kit. Mm -hmm. and, so a lot of people have access to it. Um, mm -hmm. if, but, but they don't know what to do with it. Sometimes. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Just so. don't put it in your eyes. No. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Very ouchy. Okay. <laughs> Making an oregano bath. <laughs> yeah, that not a good be, idea. Yeah. Well, it might be a good idea if you yeah. really had some. Okay. So <laughs> you are going to use it for your cooking. Use a toothpick and then, you know, of course, dip it in there and then dip it in your food and that's it. That's all you need. So imagine just, you know, sprinkling a little bit of spice on there. And if you don't have the oregano, you can use your oil, but the oil is so concentrated. You only need a teeny tiny little bit yeah. to make it go a long I way. I think we've had some pretty spicy um, spaghetti or chili. Wow. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't very popular. <laughs> the, the kids but kind of suffered a little bit. Um, it gave us it had a high therapeutic value oh, to yeah, it. Yeah, just <laughs> the first live. time. 
lop, 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 and our spaghetti, and it's like, ah. <laughs> so it's just a toothpick, people. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Learn from our mistakes. And so, don't lick your fingers. No. <laughs> Puffy lips. Unless you're a man. <laughs> and you like it. Yeah. All right. So like I said, sore throat, gargle with water as needed. Wait, has anybody used uh, oregano in their cooking? Okay. Anybody that's listening here? Uh, I haven't used it in cooking. I've definitely taken it internally in the pills, though, like with the, you know, what they call it, the, the Z pack. We've done it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any anybody take it internally without a pill? Well, you know, people have. have. <laughs> <laughs> well, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I feel like if you're doing something with your throat, which is where we're going to kind of get into next, uh -huh. um, you kind of, you're, if you're using a pill, you're going to bypass it. So. Mm -hmm. And so I was, can I tell a story? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was teaching a man's class and we were talking about all these ways that men use essential oils. And we were talking about, um, um, I, think, I think we talked about on guard a little bit mm -hmm. or, um, and, and oregano. Um, and then, I mean, we talked about like what sort of ways that these guys use essential oils. Mm -hmm. And so they all had their ideas. And, and uh, one of them, I said, look at when I get a sore throat, I just put a couple of drops of oregano in my mouth, just open a bottle, a couple of drops in, swish some water and, and, and it burns going down. But you know what? Oh After that burn, you know, it's, it improves things. And I was so surprised because I'm all, uh, and I said, "Who who does that?" And all these guys are like, "Really? Okay, works." So you're so, not alone. And we bang our chests like that. Yeah. So it's sore. Throat. It's much better than the burn of the sore throat, in my opinion. Uh huh. What was yeah. it? Like? What was it? I don't smoke capsules hardly ever anymore. Mm -hmm. I always say I've had it where it's like drip down the sides of the, the little capsule. <laughs> Getting it all over your tongue, anyways, and it like burns on the way down. I've done that several times. <laughs> over them, and I'm yeah. like, I can't waste it because I've poured it already. So I just I do it anyway. Um, but I do that with on guard. I'll put the on guard straight in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I do that with on guard. This for the sore throat. But this is another option for those who want to. I agree with Debbie. Um, you know, if you have a sore, severe sore throat, it's yeah. better than. It's better than the stink. Sometimes the pain hurts and feels good. <laughs> and then short lived. I mean, you're talking a minute or less. Yeah. That's right. It yeah. is short lived. It's short lived. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, toe infections. So it helps your body um, re repair from those infections. So you can dilute the oregano in effect and rub it on the affected areas. You know what? Sometimes it gets worse. Uh, sometimes people say it, it's red and it's peeling, um, but uh, you know, think positive, relax, and uh, it will recover quickly. Okay, I did have a lady, and she took about two months actually because she said she had a, a twenty-year um, fungus on her toes, and she just couldn't get rid of it. Um, so I said, yeah, yeah. Um, Melaleuca will be good. And she's like, yeah, it was okay. And then she went ahead and did uh, oregano and melaleuca and her, her toes were swollen and it was red and peeling. And, and uh, you know, I didn't know what to do. And she just kept going. <laughs> and then she says, oh my gosh, it's all clear. And I said, well, someone big toes, that must mean, you know, head. Um, so it's like stinking thinking, right? And she goes, it's absolutely true. She said she thinks more clearly and she's more positive now. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, wow, that worked. So that's also a solution for six toes. If you have six toes, <laughs> just apply it to that sixth toe. <laughs> 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 and it'll fall off after. Only oh, six fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so that that that's it's good for uh, funguses. Is, is what we're saying. That's what we're yeah. going to get into next. Warts. Yes. Warts and funguses, so it, it kills the stuff. Yes. So I don't know, has anybody used oregano on mold or anything like Say that? Mold or mold? Mold, like um, shower, mold. I, have, I thought Jade talked about it when you guys were talking about that mildew you can get rid of in the shower. Yeah. Did you guys try it? Yeah, I, I didn't. Did you try it before? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, I made a, mold that works fine, but some... Chew spray, like foot spray. 
And I didn't think about putting oregano in it because I put peppermint and melaleuca in it. So I might add the oregano to it. Oh, <laughs> sounds good. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's interesting. I did do it on the shower, but um, I think it's just sunk into the grout a little bit too much. And then you might have to not reply. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Or just impatient. <laughs> yes, I am. So like work immediately. So skin tags and warts. Okay, uh, just use a toothpick and just touch the uh, area of concern and do it three to four times a day for about two to three weeks. Um, amazing, amazing results. I've seen so many friends with uh, big ugly warts. But the skin will turn red all the way uh -huh. around it, so yes. don't be alarmed. So use uh, diluted lavender around it. I like it. It's like a little light that's saying, I'm working here, I'm working here. <laughs> Letting you know some burning something. Oh. You, you like pain, babe. No, I don't like pain. I just like seeing that owie suffer. Fighting <laughs> <laughs> war. Yeah, fighting a war. Yeah. War, wars. Why do you think they call them wars? It's, it's partly war, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Three fourths of the word is war. Okay. I'm just saying. Got a point. Got a point, right? Okay. Like the base root. <laughs> but it's been awesome. My friends um, tell me how how much money it takes them to cut it off, burn it off, and it just comes right back. And then it grows a colony and stuff. So, you know, right on the knees, right on the elbows, and fingers and toes. Amazing. I hope no one's eating right now. <laughs> Spoiled your appetite. And those people who are listening to the podcast. Talk about war. Well, I think that's what Beth used on Benjamin, my nephew, right? Jay yeah. was the yeah. You know, and he, yeah. he was cluster awards on his knee or whatever it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we took out all the big guns: the um, Melissa, the oregano. Um, what else? Yeah, Abavite. Did it all. Yeah, so much better Amazing. than chemical stuff yes and it goes away yeah well because warts are a virus i don't know if people know that but when i worked in doctor's office we used to always tell and explain that to people it's actually a virus so um oregano and stuff kills like we were sowing before it's antioxidant and it kills the bacteria and the stuff that feed the virus so it just dies off yeah. <laughs> I guess the proper claim that we're saying is oregano boosts your immunity. Supports your body. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I agree. Yes. All right. Anyone with any um, comments or stories to share? That's it for the body mm -hmm. things. Anybody have any other ideas aside from the sixth finger idea? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Six finger oh, man. Oh, there's an oil for that. <laughs> bread makers. You know, they do like a rosemary bread. You could maybe do a toothpick of the oregano and put that in your bread dough. Mm -hmm. I'd do a whole drop. Fill the burn of bread. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to the mind. Okay. So the oil, the oregano oil, is about um, uh, non-attachment, okay? It helps us shift um, feeling overly attached, opinionated, negative, excessively willful, and materialistic. So I have a mnemonic device. Mm -hmm. You know, warts are attached to you and you use oregano for the warts. So you use oregano mentally for your emotions to become unattached. Oh, Is yeah. that a good mnemonic device? Yeah, yeah, helps, yeah. Helps, you'll never forget that now. Unattached. <laughs> Unattached warts. Yeah. Yes. And I'm still stuck at that wart thing. <laughs> I'd say it's three, four, four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So it just changes um, your negative emotions uh, to positive emotions. Uh, feelings of humility, non-attachment, teachable, flexible, and willing to be wrong and devoted. So yeah. for all those stubborn people out there that are listening. Mm -hmm. yeah, and sometimes we don't know we're stubborn and um, 
oregano helps us okay change um, so you can diffuse a drop or two before beginning work or for the day or whenever you encounter some of these negative emotions so i know that sometimes um you know when i think ben corrects me i don't like it and i insist on being um contrary just for the sake of contrary and just so i feel like i have power um so that's when i use oregano so maybe in the future i should put oregano on your feet when you're sleeping <laughs> <laughs> i will feel it in the morning this is a solution for <laughs> your opinionated spouse <laughs> how to fix your spouse <laughs> what was that tom I, I was saying do you suggest one drop or two just <laughs> Yes. All of the drops. Don't hold <laughs> anything back. <laughs> this is an oregano okay, bath. Marissa, I don't don't like, good night. Thanks. Bottom of the foot. I'll never know. Yeah. Okay, Marissa and I gonna wake up. They'll so just wake up and I say, "Does this smell like pizza?" I was eating pizza. No. Alrighty. So, if we adopt the the positive properties, um we can help our gut uh, become cleaner okay and that will help with the clarity of thought okay and oregano is part of the gi uh G yeah, GX GX assist assist. Blend. Uh -huh. yeah yeah so that's going to give you the same um properties mm -hmm. so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna look that up over uh-huh that's right so GX assist. Okay, so um, whenever you are using oregano in any shape or form, allow yourself to, to change the way you think, okay? We're changing patterns. Okay, so Ben, that's the GX Assist. GX Assist, we're going to take a, oregano. So it's got uh -huh. do, 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 do. Oh. oregano is the top one. Yep. Oregano, melaluca, lemon, uh -huh. lemongrass, peppermint, and thyme. Uh -huh. Isn't it about most, thyme? Yes, those most those are it. all like... Uh, most of it food. are hot oils. Food oils. Yeah, mean. that's right. Okay. That's what I like to call the GX Assist pill the flu nuke. It's because it's like bigger than a bomb. It's a nuke. Mm -hmm. So if you really I feel like... It always wore it. Now it's just... <laughs> I'm talking to an audience of men out there. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it explode? It's not a problem. It explodes. It explodes <laughs> inside of you. Yeah. So if you feel like you really got something you need to get over and take a few, I've done that before when I'm feeling ill. Yeah. I'll take some GX assist mm -hmm. and all of a sudden I find out I don't need to take it anyways because I got better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's funny. I had that GX assist for four years and never cracked a bottle of it open when I, because it came in my original kit. And then I did the cleanse back in March, and I was like popping that stuff like candy after that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really powerful. I like it. Okay, so we have some affirmations to help you adopt um, the oregano. I was telling a lady this week, I said um, she was asking me how, about her health problems, and she did an iTobi scan. And she says, well, what do I do? Um, with this and I said we'll work on their emotions and she didn't understand what that means so I'm gonna tell you what that really means so you look that emotion up in the emotions book or you have an, an app that helps you understand the emotions that go with this oil I already put that up here so you already have it here online um, and uh, so you just ask yourself which one is it or is it all or some of it um, and work through and of course when we work through that we a create new affirmations, new mental scripts to adopt because obviously we've had these old thinking patterns which hasn't led us to any successes or major good changes. So we don't want to continue that. We want to have new um, thinking patterns. So here's two examples um, as I am unattached to the outcomes. So when we don't stress or fear about um, the outcome, we generally get more good results. So I say to myself, whenever, um, whatever happens is God's will. And I've asked for what I want already and how that happens is up to God. So I will accept whatever outcome. And most of the time, you know, when I go out and teach classes or whatever it is, whatever happens is, you know, is good. I accept it. Even if it's just one person and it's from that one person, there's a whole bunch of people. 
Um, so that was amazing. And um, yeah, it stops you from feeling anxious. And if you worry and you're fearful, sometimes we create that fear um, because we focus on that. And the other th affirmation is unteachable and change easily. And sometimes, uh, we, like I said, we were, we're contrary because we feel like we just have a little bit of power. And uh, then we know that, that we've decided, even though we know some of our thinking patterns is, um, you know, not good, we just still hold on to it because we feel like we want to have power. But now when we do have power, we allow ourselves to have power within, we open ourselves up to change and um, be teachable. Okay, so um, that's two affirmations that uh, you can adopt. And of course, you can uh, come up with more of your own. Does anyone want to uh, add anything to this or say anything? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we'll move on to the spirit. <laughs> and I want to share with you a little bit about the law of intention without attachment to outcome. So we talked about that earlier, but um, the reason why we want to not attach ourselves to the outcome, um, to how it works is so that we allow God to work into our work in our lives. We allow um, room, we make room for miracles basically. Okay, because we do have a, a purpose for our existence and sometimes we don't know for sure what that is. So you don't want to get in your own way. So um, when you were younger, you know, you may have been disappointed in one way or another. Um, and, you know, because you've asked for something, you didn't get it. And so we start to not ask for things just because we're so fearful of being disappointed. Uh, so the law of intention invites you to ask. So ask for things that you want. Um, you know, you can want a nice house, you can want a, a nice car, you can, you know, live in it by the beach or whatever. You want to grow your business by X amount. Um, you know, you can work four days a week if you want to ask, but uh, you allow God to do his job and his job is the how. Your job is the what. Uh, so, you know, it may come to you in a different form um, in a different time, uh, but you need to just trust and have faith that um, he will give it to you as he sees fit. And it's always going to be better than what you think and you imagine. Okay. So uh, first of all, you make a list of what you want and then disconnect you, yourself from the outcome. And how I disconnect myself from the outcome is you can smell oregano, um, so that you don't uh, measure things by what you see, you see beyond the physical. And that's why um, oregano is great for materialism, okay? Uh, so, you know, we don't see with the physical eye, we see more with the spiritual eye. And in fact, that will help you see all the blessings and the things that come to you as evidence of God's love, as answers to your prayers. Sometimes you pray, you ask for things, right? And you've already got it and you didn't realize and you don't realize where it's from, okay? So um, this way, you know, earlier we talked about oregano being and all of that helps you think clearly. This is how you think clearly to get rid of all the junk and the, um, your own uh, inhibitions and self-limiting beliefs. And um, then you actually can see uh, how God has been teaching you and that you've been blessed already. All right, anyone with questions, comments? Detachment. Detach. <laughs> I'm thinking about words again. Detach. <laughs> Yeah, detach yourself from warts. You know, warts are these ugly, pugly things um, that you think about that you th about yourself. So of course, that's like you know, stop yourself from thinking all that you know awful thoughts about yourself. And that's good. Eventually, we find our spiritual journey. We see everything from a spiritual point of view, um, and of course, you are able to turn around and give God the credit and praise God for those um, blessings. And that is just strengthening your faith. It's the same for a lot of people when they have like um, negative thoughts or false beliefs. Sometimes it's hard for them to detach from those or that's to right. move on from them. So yeah, that's right. James come up with this brilliant 
the use of oregano to detach from those false beliefs. I think it stayed around for a while. We're just reminding Jay you. Jay made it up. No, it okay. didn't. Anyways, <laughs> so it's oregano it's to me. detach from those false beliefs, but you heard it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's great. I, I, I haven't heard it before. So. Yes. So I'll your job putting, is the what? I'll be putting um, oregano on your feet when you sleep. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I won't know who did it. <laughs> Pizza man. Yes, so pizza man did it. Okay, so two things. Make a list of what you want. So now allow yourself to ask for things and then disconnect yourself from how it comes to you. And I promise you that you'll be an amazing manifester when that happens. Uh, crazy how um, life works, but it's been amazing. And of course, if you don't ask, you don't get and you don't realize some of the blessings around you already that, that has come from God. Sometimes people will just focus on the things that they have but they don't want. So yeah, their yeah. problems. Yes. Um, instead of focusing on the things that they want to uh -huh. work toward. So yes. they're always running away from their problems and in, in essence they just make their problems bigger. That's true. Instead of making, you know, focusing on the mm -hmm. keeping your eye on the ball, mm -hmm. focusing on the target. One lady said to me, I can't believe you pray for uh, money. And I said, oh, well, why not? <laughs> it's not a big deal to Heavenly Father. But um, if we need it for some purpose, just let him know. And Pray over know. the flocks in your field. Yeah. So, um, and when you get it, of course, you know that's from God. And it strengthens your faith. It promotes more faith. So that's nothing bad about it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, and, um, yeah, and that leads us to the next topic, actually. But uh, that's all for tonight on Oregano. And we have our um, PDF here. Da, da, da. Ten <laughs> is for Oregano. I can see the headline now. Nuke. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anybody have any comments or questions or enlightenments? Inspiration. <laughs> okay. You do, that's good. Any other ideas about oregano that maybe we haven't captured here? I have one. Mm. Well, that's that it, it can be used with frankincense for extreme discomfort. Wow. And so in a gel capsule. It, I prefer marjoram personally, marjoram and frankincense. But I had somebody contact me a couple of days ago, in fact. They said, can I, I don't have margarine. Can I use oregano? I said, absolutely, yes. So all the kitchen oils have anti-inflammatory benefits, and oregano is one of those. And so it's a fabulous, not only antioxidant, but a fabulous anti-inflammatory. And so if our discomfort is related to that, it's a great choice. As in, I, I typically add a drop of peppermint to the hot of the oregano when I'm taking it internally in conjunction with the frankincense. So that's a, another thing we can use for oh, nice. Yeah. You mean like uh, internal pain? Oh, well, outside. Outside, internal, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I can't remember what they were having done. Yeah, I did read about it. I didn't write it down because I didn't want people to start, Are you know, dumping it all over She's their body and, and then crying. Well, thanks, Debbie, for I, I, Oh, I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to put that in a, in a gel capsule and swallow it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to apply that topically. Okay. Yes. So put the oregano, frankincense, and I, I add a drop of peppermint. Peppermint. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's good it. because oregano so is sort of like a cousin to marjoram. Peppermint helps diffuse the hotness. It does. And it, it's a tummy tamer too. So if it bothers your tummy, adding a drop of peppermint completely and does that for me personally. Ooh. I've never had a problem once I started using adding a drop of peppermint. Oh, wow. That's really it doesn't good. take a lot, but. Mm -hmm. This is this is Mary Poppins' new slogan: "A drop of peppermint makes the medicine go down." <laughs> That's it, exactly. Essential oils. <laughs> One drop of peppermint makes the essential oil go do whatever it needs to do. <laughs> it it sounds a lot more better when. Um, in yeah. fact, I need to actually text my sister-in-law, whose daughter had her wisdom teeth out today, and um, I meant to text her earlier today. So that's my. Idea. That's a really good idea. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Excellent. So oregano, cousin to marjoram. So what marjoram can do, oregano can do too, but hotter. <laughs> <laughs> but hotter. <Yeah. laughs> but it's one of the basic ten. 
Yeah. You know, so it's something they're always going to have if they have those basic tenoils that we reach for every single day. That's why it's so important, so important that we help them get a kit, not just one or two oils. They've got, they're not going to be prepared for what comes their way if That's they right. don't start with a kit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to get kits. I think also a lot of people um, use On Guard for a lot of things because we have a lot of other products that have On Guard in it. Yeah. But this is something that to add to the on guard or some Definitely. maybe even with cleaning to use in place of on guard Definitely. um so it's always good to use a variety mm -hmm. all right we awesome class everybody coming. we'll stop our recording now yep go ahead yep. and stop the recording Hold on. let's stop and share okay awesome. um now we will tell you oh sorry